Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. There'll be four. Gotta get this done. Right, let's crack on. Well, that's another task ticked off for this week. This hedge done here, and this hedge done here. Um, there is a, an advisory in France that you can't um, cut hedges and, um, until August. But um, I've noticed in France that um, if you're French, uh, it, it's a case of let's see what you can get away with before you get done. Uh, so, I'm adopting the French way. Uh, it sounds a bit negative. Uh, I am. Um, because there's one thing I've started to realise in France. Um, that is, uh, the customer is not right anytime. Anytime. Um, with any business and uh, unlike the UK customer service is paramount or else people are just going to leave um, it seems like businesses in France really don't give a toss whether you leave or not um, so that's why I'm a bit negative um, because I'm, I'm used to customer service and uh, various ombudsmen as well in the UK. That's what I'm used to. Can't quite, can't quite get used to it here. Um, insurance, that's crazy as well. Uh, vehicle insurance, for example. Um, you, uh, for any vehicle, whether it's uh, uh, got an MOT or a control technique or not, or if it's just lying on your land, derelict, uh, so long as it's got four wheels uh, and it's able to roll, I believe, uh, you have to insure it. But, so I don't understand that. Uh, so the insurance are making a bloody fortune over here. Um, so yeah, I've still got to figure that one out, how I can play them at their own game. Um, but uh, because my bike's been over here uh, and uh, in the UK I would sawn it, which is a statutory off-road notification, sawn. And then you don't, uh, you don't have to insure it, tax it or anything. Um, in France, you, whether it's you take it off the road or not, used to have to insure it and that cost me 200 plus euros a year and I haven't ridden it for three years so it's costing me it's cost it's costed me nearly a thousand euros since I've been over here just to insure my bike that I don't ride and it's not here <laughs> so yeah this is what I've been thinking lately and I do love it over here I, I don't get me wrong I absolutely adore it over here uh, but some of the some of the um the ways that businesses and uh, generally over here, I, I, I just can't use. Right, I'll give you another example. Right, the Brits are used to queuing. You go to the bar, you queue for the bar, queue for a drink, blah, blah, blah. Um, they take your money, you get your drink and you walk away. In France, no, no, it's not like that. No, you go to the bar and there's no queuing system. You get in there where you can and uh, um, order your drink, get your drink, pay your cash, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then you just uh, hang around at the bar, just chatting idly, blocking up the bar for anyone else trying to get in for a drink. I don't understand that. That's just, in, in my, I ask, and this is, uh, in my way, <laughs> I consider that being rude. Rude and selfish. But I'm used to British ways, I suppose. And, and uh, so, <laughs> I can't get used to it. Can't get used to it. But, you know. Uh, it, it, over here, it has far more pros than it does cons for, for me. For me, my wife is French. We love it a bit. Um, but she is more British because she spent so many years, uh, half her life in the UK. She's used to British ways. And it catches her out every now and again. So she has to bite her tongue because she's French. She's <laughs> they won't put up with it. For me, I'm English. I can plead ignorance. That's, you know, that's, that's the way I plead ignorance. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it.
What else is there? Nothing else. We've still got Una. Um, still no news on, on uh, prospective uh, uh, adoptee parents, adopters. Um, she was a bit of a pain today. Um, being stubborn. Uh, but that's Labradors for you. They're stubborn. She has a tendency of hanging around your feet while they're cooking in the kitchen. That gets on my nerves. <laughs> but it, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a Labrador thing, apparently. What else is that? Um, oh, the product I applied um, a few days ago now um, to, water, uh, to seal the house from, from ingress of water because we've got cracks in the masonry in the, yeah, in some of the masonry, which I'm going to have to fill in and um, before I paint. So um, we have a result. We have a result. There was an area around the front that had cracks in the masonry where water was seeping in and we had an almighty uh, 18 hours of torrential rain and high winds yesterday. It was very warm and muggy, but it was it it, um, it was chucking it down, good and proper. And in the, in this front, this room I'm renovating here, we tend it, it tended to get a bit damp in this corner, hence the bucket down there. And it really did get damp. Now I've got yet to fix the the render outside, so I'll be doing that um, as soon as I can, basically. Filling in the gaps and then painting over the top with weather shield paint or similar similar stuff. And you used to be able to feel the damp here. Now it's only been four days since I've applied. Five days? Four days, four or five days. And um it's dry as a bone. Dry as a bone. Um so I am over the moon with that product. I would recommend it to anyone. So long as you apply two coats. Um, you're laughing uh, and then afterwards you know it, it's only a temporary fix but um, it's a temporary fix while you sort out where you're gonna how you're gonna fix the underlying problem which it doesn't fix the underlying problem so it's this stuff oh it's going in reverse it's rain check weather shield universal water seal it's really really good stuff I would highly recommend it I'm not sponsored by them but I think it's astounding stuff. Um, it's 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 effective on brick, concrete, stone, and wood, built to protect. It's really good. So the benefits: water-based, rapid curing, excellent surface beading, breathable, and UV resistant. So it's a colourless surface water repellent for masonry, timber, concrete, and stone, and it can be used on old and new buildings to protect brick stone concrete facades from penetrating damp into damp or to protect paving and timber from moisture ingress ready to use and can be applied by brush roller or spray so i'd recommend it honestly really good stuff so yeah i'm not sponsored or anything but um who makes it let's find out who makes it uh safeguard Safeguard, I believe. Yes, Safeguard Europe. So Safeguard Europe, I've just recommended this. I'd like a few more, please. I know that will probably never happen, but uh, any other products, you know, machine products that you supply, I don't think you would, but uh, I'll, have a, I'll check your website. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I've, I've been talking enough. There's not much action on this one. And uh, judging by the um, count of my last videos, you're not interested. So I don't give a toss. This is my diary. Um, I, I still value your subscriptions, um, but uh, that's where we are. So I will love you and leave you. Have a great day. I'm off to the dechetterie to get rid of my uh, green waste, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Fibre is on the way. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>